Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is your girl Queen B. Queen B is in the mother effing house. Yeah, yo. Alright guys, so we're just going to reason tonight, right? Because what I see going on social media right now between Maxine and Barbisha, when I say it breaks my heart and it breaks my spirit, to the point where I don't even want to come back on social media. And I know some of you may say, you know, who cares, Queen B? Nobody care what you have to say. Matter of fact, don't come back. But in all honesty, it really and truly break my spirit to the point where I don't even want to really come back on social media. Because when I see these two ladies, right? going at it and these are two ladies that you know Maxine you know I have much love for you you know that from long time from day one I have much love for you right because the image of you when I first first met you or saw you on social media is the image that I continue to hold into my heart and that was of a broken woman a broken woman sitting in her vehicle and you were so upset and crying and destroyed and literally like threatening to take your life because of what happened to you with the whole saga with the money and misty and whatever whatever right we don't need to go through that again all who've been following know the history between them and when i saw you maxine in that vehicle and my heart reached out to you and i'm the one that reached out to you in your inbox and gave you some good encouraging words right and tell you it's not worth it right it's not worth taking your life for and things will be better and is at that point is like my spirit has been linked with yours as far as really and truly check and respect you right but it, and, and when it comes to Barbisha, I, I, I've met you personally, uh, Maxine, but I've never met Barbisha personally, right? But in in observing Barbisha over the years on in, on the internet, at first I didn't too care for her, honestly, Barbisha, I didn't because I saw you like everywhere on every platform, and at the time I was like, this girl have no abiding city, like you know what I'm saying, like, and everybody kept like kicking you up there they uh, are blocking you off for their channel so but as you you know continue and you got your own channel and you know and start to do your own little thing uh my vibes change again so you understand me and i said okay she cool you know it's a cool girl whatever whatever right and i came to have a liking for you right and when it comes to you and Maxine, no, I thought you guys had such a respect and mutual friendship because of the way Maxine used to always really big you up. Maxine always big you up. She always support you. She always share your page. She always give you some good um, compliments of, you know, how beautiful you look and how your skin flawless. And, you know, she used to say a lot of really good things about you, right? And, you know, she have you over there on her platform platform to the point where she even give you a wrench you know and it, it, you know so I don't know what went wrong or where you guys went wrong because of the mutual respect that I saw you had for each other I don't know what went wrong right but what I can say is yes we already spoke about it we talked about the fact that yeah when you plan to say you know you're gonna you know block somebody off of her channel which is her platform not your platform but her platform you know you can admit yourself that you were wrong in saying that and you did admit to that right but I can't understand how that alone could have cost this so it seemed as if there was some undertone something going on either on your end or maybe on Maxine and maybe you did something to offend her and she kind of have her eye on you for a while and she never say anything but maybe she was you know building up a little something something but never really spoken to you about it I'm not sure if that's what the case is only Maxine can know that but whatever it is something went major major wrong and once it went wrong instead of you both you know decide to just end it there 
you know, then you took your platform, um, Barbisha, and you did come and you did say, you know, um, you know, Maxine, you know, whatever, and the things that Maxine was saying about you and her platform, and, you know, you, you, you should have known Maxine, that she was not going to just let it, you know, she's not going to let it go like that, right? If you come and say something, she's going to come back at you, right? And she did. And when she came back at you, to me, you should have just, you know what, Maxine, it is what it is. We used to be friends. You go your own separate way. I'll go my own separate way, okay? No, no love loss. I respect you just the same way, but it's obvious that we two have two different thinking, right? And, you know, certain persons that's on your platform, I don't, don't care much for them, and it is your platform, so I'm just going to peacefully exit. And just call it a day. What was all this back and forth, back and forth, and then you come back again, and you play this, and you play that, and you say this, and you say that? You know Maxine was going to come back at you, because that is Maxine. She's a fighter. She defends herself. No matter what or who come at her, she's going to defend herself. She's not a person like myself who's going to just sit down quiet and don't say nothing or, you know, just la di di da 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 and laugh it off. No, she's going to come back blazing. And you should have known that if you were taking the time to really get to know Maxine during the course of the time that you guys had some form of friendship, you know, you wasn't best friends, but you had some kind of respect for one another or whatever. You should have gotten to know her that that is what was going to happen. So therefore, just nip it in the bud from day one. Take your losses and just keep it moving. But no, you got to the point now where you involve, you know, your husband coming on live and your husband, you know, sending some forms of threats. And it's like you guys are taking it too darn far. And again, you know, Maxine, she's not going to back down. And the more you guys come at her hard, especially if she feel any form of threat or anything or any, any kind of challenge, she's she's going she's gonna to be right there. She's not backing down. Right. So I don't understand you bringing on your husband, you know, to send those type of threat and this and that. And, you know, like, what was that all about? This is social media. This is not real life. So why you guys even went that far to get your husband involved? Regardless of whether, you know, Maxine want to call your uncle name or your, you know, your, your father-in-law name and this and that, whatever. Let her be the one to call all of that, right? Because she's going to do it regardless. But for you to actually bring them on social media and have them say the things that they're saying, what did you think was going to happen? You think Maxine was going to get scared and nervous and, you know, run into a little hole and go hide and, and say, okay, Bob I'm so scared of your family, so, you know, I mean, I go, no. You should have known that's how Maxine is. So, again, you were wrong right there, so. Wrong right there, so. It's like sometimes you may be in the right, but because of the way you handle it, you can now become in the wrong. And to me, few things that you have done so far that puts you in the wrong because all it did was fuel it and, and put more fire, you know, to, to the wood for it to continue to be burning. And I'm hoping and praying that, you know, it will done. Stop answering, you know, anything. Let Maxine vent. Let her say what she have to say. That's, that is Maxine. She's going to vent. She's going to defend herself. You cannot stop that. That's just her. But if you are not of that nature, which you didn't seem to be of that type of nature, to be arguing, fussing, and cussing with anybody, right? If you're not that, you know, from that um, background, or you don't have that type of nature, then you be the bigger one and just zip it. Zip it and nip it. And don't let it go any further than where it is today because it's getting more and more serious and more and more people is getting involved. And you hear with the recording that Maxine played, you know, with your, your, your father-in-law giving out a lot of very sensitive personal information that, yes, Maxine can use it against him and his son and whoever else she feels like use it against Right now, she can because she was able to pull a lot of information out of him, personal information. 
So for the sake of your father-in-law and your, you know, cousin-in-law or whoever the young man is to you, I would tell you, nip it in the bud. Leave it where it is. Do not go any further with that. That is my best advice to you, Bobisha, in real life and seriously. That is my best, best advice to you. Just leave it alone at this point. Don't go any further. Don't throw no words. Don't drop no hints. Don't throw no shades on your platform. Just nip it in the bud and keep it moving. The other day, I think it was on Sunday, right? On Sunday, when you were playing the gospel song and you were crying and God knows my heart just reached out to you, right? And I thought at that moment was going to be a realization to you how social media is and how wicked and evil social media can be and just learn your lesson from there so I move on. I honestly thought that's what you were going to do and I was so shocked when I see you come back again with the argument and I'll bring on your husband, come and threaten people and talk of the things them and like in a bad man style and I mean I was really and truly shocked and I was really and truly disappointed in that because I really and truly thought you would have done away with it you know but like I said I hope and pray that you and Maxine can put this behind you guys go your separate ways peacefully don't get anybody else involved your family members did not ask to be on social media it's not fair to them that they have to be dragged into the social media mess and i want you guys to stop being so selfish and think about your families and the harm that could come to them think about them if you're not going to think about yourself all right but anyway guys just that my one cent, two cent, three cent, ten cent dollar. And that is all I come to say on the matter. I am really and truly hurting for both of you ladies. And in all honesty, it really truly turned me off from social media. It, it just, like every time you turn around, it's it just some kind of friendship gone sour and people start playing voice notes and turning against each other and naming up each other and it's like Jesus like where did the love go overnight like seriously like wow you know what I mean so I, I just hope that you guys can just done away with it like please 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 just done away with it all right anyway guys have a wonderful day evening afternoon any part of the world that you're in today blessings to everyone keep yourself covered under the blood of jesus keep your mind covered if you guys don't see me posting much you know where I'm at, right? I'm under the blood of Jesus, protecting myself, protecting my my spirit, protect, protecting my space. That is what I do when social media start to get a little too toxic, all right? So I may not post a lot of um, video, I mean, um, do a lot of blogging videos, but you will still see me um, posting on my Facebook page because you know I have to keep it active um, for social media purposes. I have to keep it active and also whatever little audience that I do have, they do look forward to, you know, seeing what I post next or whatever the case may be. And I try to keep my audience up to date on a lot of things that's going on um, in, in the media world. So I will still be posting, but I, I may not be doing a lot of vlogs in video my spirit is definitely broken and i'm so saddened for what's going on on social media and i'm going to take um pastor miller advice and i'm also going to follow the advice of you know um certain individuals where you say you kind of try to leave the the, the 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 negative um you know the realm of social media just 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 leave it alone it's it, it's no good for your psychic it's no good for your spirit and it surely ain't good for your spiritual your spirituality all right guys anyway stay safe have a wonderful day evening afternoon any part of the world you're in today and queen b is out